hello everyone with this video we are starting our series on contraception the first method of contraception is very 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 common and very easy that is calendar method calendar method is a natural method of contraception even uh, apart from the students even normal women can also learn from this video now let's discuss the calendar method the basis of the calendar method is that we need to avoid the sexual intercourse around the time of ovulation happens okay because ovulation is the essential thing for the ovum comes into the tubes ready for fertilization so only need is intercourse if the if in this time if the couple have a sexual intercourse then the sperm will go and the pregnancy will be there so what we need to do is avoid sex during time of ovulation around the time of ovulation so now the next step is what we need to assume the time of ovulation so this is done with this method suppose if some patient have either a regular cycle or irregular cycle in case of regular cycle we need to cut 14 days from the cycle for example if the patient have a 28 week of cycle and then we need to cut minus 28 uh, 14 from the 28 so remains is 14 so the 14th day is considered or presumed as ovulation day suppose if the cycle is longer 35 days then 35 minus 14 the 21st day of the cycle is considered as ovulation day so the 21st day is considered as a ovulation day now five days before and five days after the predicted ovulation day is considered as a unsafe unsafe for contraception that means if a 28 day of cycle is there and v minus 14 from the 28 then 14 days come as a ovulation day so 14 minus 5 that is 9th day and 14 plus 5 that is 19th day this 9 to 19th day is considered as unsafe the rest two days are considered as a safe suppose the cycle is of 35 days then 35 minus 14 the 21th days come as a day of ovulation then 16 to 26 this period 16 to 26 period is considered as a unsafe period rest of the cycle days are considered as a safe so this is how we do a calendar method the failure rate of calendar method is very high is 9 per 100 woman year this is a pearl index we will discuss it in the later video but again what i am trying to tell you if the couple is really motivated and very educated and want to just understand that how the things works they want to maintain or they want to uh, they have a compliance according to that method then only they can use this method otherwise it is not very safe method for contraception now comes the cervical mucus method what is that so what is the basis behind that is the property of mucus changes according to what hormone is dominant at that time that is either estrogen or progesterone under the influence of estrogen the cervical glands have secretion of watery, clear, smooth, slippery discharge. 
which can make us pinker bucket for example this is a finger this is a thumb you can actually stretch that that is discharge so this is called as pinker bucket so this thing is seen in under the estrogen influence that means this is a follicular period and there is a follicles there is no ovulation yet so this thing considered as a safe once the cervical mucus changes and becomes thick scanty not elastic which is called take cervical take is what the mucus becomes thick scanty not elastic this is happens when the progesterone now dominates and the presence of progesterone says that yes there is a ovulation there is a cervical uh, corpus luteum so you need to now stop the that uh, doing intercourse for next 10 days okay again p has come that means progesterone has come corpus luteum should be there and that is showing that the ovulation has happened now comes the basal body temperature method ovulation itself is a slightly inflammatory process so pain can be there sometimes patient have a ovulation pain also so with this inflammation body temperature rises progesterone is also considered to rise the body temperature so when the uh, you need to monitor the temperature every day every single day of the cycle and if you find that there is a sudden increase in the temperature above 0.2 to 0.5 celsius degree celsius then it indicates that ovulation has happened now so this is how basal body temperature method works so these are the basic natural methods for contraception but what is the problem here problem is they are not very safe but the advantages is they are completely natural you don't need to use some drug or instrument while doing this thing very responsible couple very compliant couple can go for this methods thank you